Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Blogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to show you how to change a hard drive in the WD MyCloud ES2 without losing any data. Now, in fact, in this video, I'm going to change both my hard drives, but I'm going to do it over a period of a couple of days. So I currently have the ES2, I've had it for quite a while, it's a great device, I probably should review it on this channel at some point, um, but basically I've outgrown the hard drives I've put in it. So I've ordered two brand new ones, so I'm going from 3TB to 8TB, I run it on RAID 0, so each drive kind of acts as a backup of the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap out one drive, we're going to let it kind of mirror itself, and then we're going to swap out the other drive and hopefully have 8TB of storage in total. So let's go. Okay, so first up let me show you what I've ordered. So I've ordered two of these WD Red Plus 8TB NAS 3.5 inch hard drives. These are designed to use in Network and Act Storage, which I've got NAS on, and I'll link those below. So first thing we need to do is we need to go into the admin for our ES2 Ultra, and we need to make sure our RAID settings are correct. So this is only really gonna work if you've got kind of RAID 0 set up. So we're gonna go into storage up here, and you can see here, we've got volume one RAID, and it only says volume one because I've actually got two hard drives in. If I click disk status, you can see, but I do have two three terabyte hard drives. So we'll go back to this one, and we're gonna hit, uh, we've got auto rebuild on, which is fine, because we want that to happen. What we're gonna do is hit change RAID mode. I've got it in RAID one, sorry, not RAID zero, ignore that. So RAID one is when we mirror from one to the other. So we hit change RAID mode, and it says this will interrupt active file transfer services for duration of the operation, which is fine. Um, and we hit OK. So we don't want to switch to that. We don't want to downgrade it. We're going to go RAID 1, which just reminds us that two instances, copies of the data record on a separate hard drive. So if one fails, the other continues to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to click extend capacity here. So we're not actually going to change the RAID because we're sticking to RAID 1, but we want to extend capacity, which basically means if we switch one drive for a larger drive, it will expand. So I'm going to hit next. And it says, do you want to replace your existing drive with a new drive? I'm going to say next. So it says, if you need to make any changes to your RAID mode selections, hit back. Click finish if you're ready to migrate your data to RAID 1. Replace drives starting with the red LED near the drive. So we'll look at what that means in a second and we'll hit finish. Right, that means it's time to replace the actual drive. Let's go. So you can see here exactly what it means. So we've got normal red power light and we've got this red light here, which means this is the drive to replace first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power it off back in the admin and then come back to this. Okay, so I set that to hibernate. So what we're gonna do now is unplug the ethernet and then we're gonna unplug the power. Okay, so it's time to open the top up and one was flashing first so we are going to replace one which i think is the left one so let's do that so we need to undo this to be able to remove our drives there we go so one is this one here so we're going to place this one first you can see what we had in here before we have the wd sata green so we're going to switch that out for this new one here so we're gonna need a cross-headed screwdriver so we can undo these two screws here. Okay, we're good to put this in, let's go. There we go, nice and snug. So we can pop this back in now as well. Of course, we are going to replace the second drive in a couple of days, so it doesn't matter too much, but we're just going to do this anyway, just because otherwise I might lose this piece. Okay. Now it's time to plug it all back in. Okay, we're all plugged back in, so we're going to log back in on the desktop. Okay, so we are now back logged in. Uh, if we go to the home, we can see volume downgraded, uh, which is what we expect. So we can go and check position drive status, which we'll do in a second. If I just go home, we can see we've got some diagnostics and caution. It's saying 3.6 gigabytes free, which I think is probably what we expect for now. Uh, we can see the new drive is running uh, cooler, which is nice. Uh, and we've got RAID status of expanding. So if we go back to storage, we can see we've got the percentage of the status here, 
and if we click disk status we can see the drive one is now eight terabytes and the status is good um, so basically what we have to do now is wait for all of the data to transfer so we'll probably come back tomorrow and put the other drive in okay so it's about 24 hours later the drive has finished copying that first one so again i'm going to hibernate it and switch out the second drive this time and then boot it all up again and log in this is the final clip at the end of the kind of second day. All of the data has now transferred. And so if I look into this now, I can see that I have 4.36 terabytes free. My diagnostics are healthy. And if I go back to storage once more time, uh, I can see that I've got a RAID volume one with 7.87 gigabytes, which means both my drives are now fully synced. Um, and that's how you change the internal hard drives on a ES2 cloud storage device without losing any of your data. I hope this video has helped you out and I'll see you guys again soon.